Hey YouTube, I'm Will and this is the Movie Files on the Till the Last Credit YouTube channel. This segment of the channel is going to basically focus on all different types of, uh, of aspects of Hollywood. I'll be talking mainly about just movies in general. Hollywood, movie reviews of classic movies, um, just all around uh, this is going to be a miscellaneous uh, movie segment. But what I'd like to talk to you guys about today is the, uh, the DC Extended Universe. And for those of you that don't know, that is the DC Comics uh, film universe. It doesn't involve the television that's, that's going on on the CW. And it doesn't involve um, you know, anything else, any other aspects of, of the, the corporation um, as far as live action entertainment goes. This is the theatrical movies that started with Man of Steel, continued with Batman v Superman, uh, Wonder Woman and Justice League both come out this year. And uh, slated on the list was, for 2018, The Batman. A new Batman film starring Ben Affleck, who uh, played the character in Batman v Superman, supposedly written and directed by Ben Affleck. This was going to be the comic book Citizen Kane. And it's over now. Of course, Warner Brothers is going to push forward. Uh, they're going to try and get this movie still made. But Ben Affleck has walked. Ben Affleck has, has abdicated his throne as director. Now, he's still going to be playing Batman, as far as we know. As far as we know, he's still going to be Batman. Because as far as I know, he's uh, legally obligated to be Batman. He doesn't have any choice. But he has stepped down as director. Now, this is troubling. This is troubling for several reasons. Because, first of all, to hear Ben Affleck talk about this movie, Ben Affleck is a huge Batman fan. And Ben Affleck only agreed to do the Daredevil movie in 2003 because he felt that that was the closest he was ever going to get to be to playing Batman. He didn't think he was ever going to get to be Batman. And now, here he is. He's Batman. This movie is going to be, or was going to be, his opus. This was uh, what he had uh, wanted for a, a good portion of his, at least, of, of his career life. <clears throat> and, uh, and now he has it. And he has stated on more than one occasion that there is not enough money in the world for him to make a terrible Batman movie that this movie will be good. This movie will be the greatest Batman movie anyone has ever seen. And now he's walked off the project. Why would Ben Affleck, somebody who was so passionate about this movie, somebody who said that there wasn't enough money in the world that would get him to make a bad movie, what would make him walk? Well, the answer, obvious, is that Warner Brothers is pushing for this to be a bad movie. Now, I don't think that they're pushing for it to be bad on purpose, but we've seen with Suicide Squad, a little bit with Batman v Superman, we've seen the studio meddling. And this is not news where Warner Brothers is concerned. This goes all the way back. Studio meddling is what gave us Batman and Robin. You know, there were a lot of complaints that Tim Burton's Batman and Batman Returns was too dark and too grotesque. So they fired Tim Burton, they brought in Joel Schumacher, and they started just loading Joel Schumacher down with mandate after mandate after mandate from the studio. And we got Batman Forever, and then we got Batman and Robin, which was basically a two-hour toy commercial. And Warner Brothers intended, it for, intended for it to be that. Now, I'm sure they also wanted it to be a good movie, but they clearly didn't know what they were doing, and they clearly don't know what they're doing now. Now, there are a lot of DC fanboys out there that are going to say, no, they're making all the right decisions. No, shut up. They just forced out Ben Affleck. They forced out the one thing that was going to make the Batman the greatest superhero movie ever made. The Dark Knight would have paled in comparison to what Ben Affleck had given us had he been given free reign. And the studio crushed that. The studio ruined that. The Flash is currently in development hell. The Flash has gone through two directors now. The Flash doesn't have a direction. The Flash is now getting a page one script rewrite. You know, if you're asking for my opinion, The Flash isn't happening. Batman isn't happening. We'll be lucky if Aquaman happens. And right now, James Wan is all on board with Aquaman. Aquaman seems to be on schedule. It seems to be going full uh, force. 
and I don't even have any faith in that movie anymore. And there's no, you know, there, there, there's never been any indication that Aquaman's not going to happen. But this announcement and the decisions being made by Warner Brothers, you know, they recently just split uh, Shazam into two movies now. Instead of having a Shazam movie where Shazam fights Black Adam, we're now getting a Shazam movie where he will not fight Black Adam, and Black Adam is now getting his own movie. <sighs> Warner Brothers, please, for the love of God, pull your head out of your goddamn ass. Nobody wants a Black Adam movie. The only people that actually are out there defending your decision to make a Black Adam solo movie are the people that will follow you blindly right the fuck off the cliff that you're taking all of us over. Somebody at Warner Brothers needs to be fired and they need to get somebody in there that knows what the fuck they're doing, that knows how to make a superhero movie, that knows how to hire a good writer, hire a good director, you know, and then leave them the hell alone. Leave them the hell alone. Leave these people alone. These are professional people. And to be honest, studio executives have no idea what it's like being on the field, you know, out in the field, on a, on a movie but on a movie set, uh, behind the camera, in front of the camera. The executives don't know these things. You have no idea as a film executive how to make a movie. So just stop it. Shut up. Pay the bills. And let the people that you've hired... Do the job you hired them to do. I think David Ayer could have turned in a good Suicide Squad movie. But he had the studio breathing down his neck. And like a fucking pussy. Yes, David Ayer, you're a pussy. Like a fucking pussy, he caved. And now we ended up with Suicide Squad. Which, it's not horrible. I don't hate it. But it, it wasn't anything special. It was, it was DC trying to be Marvel. And that's not what, I don't think, what anybody with half a brain actually wanted. So here, here's my prediction, and it's a sad prediction. I am a huge DC fan. I love DC more than Marvel. I think Marvel movies are stereotypical. I don't think any of them, while they're not necessarily bad, none of them are great. None of them stand apart. Batman v Superman stood apart. Batman v Superman did its own thing, and Man of Steel before it did its own thing. And, um, but here's my prediction. The DCEU is dead. It's dead. It's stillborn. We're going to get Wonder Woman because that's already in the can. Uh, we're going to get Justice League because that's already in the can. And honestly, I don't think we will see another DC Comics movie for a very long time. Warner Brothers is going to go back to making Vertigo imprint, uh, stuff. Maybe we'll get another League of Extraordinary Gentlemen movie that's not garbage. I don't know, but that's where I'm at. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Let's talk about this. Let's have a discussion. Um, you can find me on Twitter, at Will Abbott. On Facebook, um, facebook.com slash Will Abbott Critic. You can find all of us here at the weekly Till the Last Credit podcast and at tillthelastcredit.com. On Twitter, at Till the Last Cred. And Instagram, at Till the Last Cred. So uh, thanks for joining us and have a great day.